Hi Libra, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of October the 31st to November the 7th, 2016. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos on YouTube with your family members and friends. As you know, this is strictly a general reading and every single card for every single day of the week does not apply to every single person in the universe. But I can bring you clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions in a private reading. So I welcome you to go to my website, and that is www.BrendaTaro, spelled T-A-R-O, dot info. See you soon, Libra. We start our week with a major card on Monday, and you have, Libra, been given the balance card. Um, this card is all about you uh, not making any impulsive decisions or moves right now. You need to approach any changes uh, coming in right now slower. Okay, so take your time. If this is all about balance and moderation right now This at the beginning of the week. It's also about cooperation and compromise, my friend. You need to wait for the perfect timing right now before you make a move. Tuesday, Seven of Fire. Fire cards have to do with setting our creative juices into motion and risk-taking, adventure, and self-development. There's something coming in that you are going to be having to defend, and it's about you defending your own beliefs and your own decisions right now. But you know, my friend, you can do this, so stand your ground, but choose your battles wisely. Crowning your week on Wednesday, a water card, the relationship card, Two of Water. Uh, it can be a romantic and intimate relationship or a friendship relationship, but this relationship is going to continue to grow closer right now. The word they use is forgiveness. So, it will be the positive resolution, this forgiveness to any little conflict that you've had in this relationship. Forgiveness, my friend. Thursday, you've been given another water card, the Queen of Water, back to back. So, Again, this relationship is going to develop to a new level. So trust your own intuition with it. It's all about how you care for yourself and how you transcend that caring to that other individual. Friday, Earth card, the material card, two of Earth, has to do with our jobs, careers, professions, how we bring that currency into our lives. It can also have to do with eco, uh, the ecosystem and Mother Earth and or our closest circle, which is our families. This is telling me right now there's too much going on in your life and you need to make a decision. But when you make this decision, step back, take a deep breath, look at the whole situation, the whole picture, and do it in a more playful manner. Take a more playful approach to this when you make this decision. It will work out better for you. Saturday, Ace of Earth, another Earth card again. Aces are the beginnings of all things in all suits. So this is the beginning of an inflow coming into you in abundance. And it shows me that for some of you, it's going to involve a good business venture, a promising business venture coming into some of you. There will be some important documents or contracts that some of you are going to be signing this uh, near the end of the week. The Empress, major card for the end of the week on a Sunday. So the Empress is all about keeping your own uh, don't let all your secrets out into the open right now. Uh, don't um, don't give too much of yourself out uh, out there. But it's all about you um, and your hard work and bringing you great rewards. It's like you've got the Midas touch right now. This is a great card in all parts of your life. It's it's about uh, your marriage, your children, your family, your your relationships. It shows me that right now they're all flourishing quite well for some of you. So nurture yourself. It's all about she's the mother. She's the major mother, the empress, and how she nurtures herself and how she transcends that love and nurturing to others around her. It's about lavish abundance coming in for some of you and you being able to give birth now to your, to your dreams. It's also a great card for emotional and physical good, well-being, and health right now. It's a great card, Angelique. At the end of the reading, I did incorporate that one Ascended Masters uh, card, and they said this, they sent you this, take charge of the situation. So basically, you, you, you're you able now to walk your path and do this. So take charge of it. You have the capabilities of leadership. You have the capabilities of being uh, balanced emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and physically right now to take charge of this situation that's in your week right now. So please know you have the power within you to successfully do this. 
I wish you a great remainder to today, Libra, and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to. Again, I leave you with another quote. You only have control over three things in your life. The thoughts you think, the images you visualize, and the actions you take. So, take charge, my friend, of that situation. Perfect quote for you this week, as it has been for all the other signs to you. I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week again. I love to say that to my friends and to, to, my, to my wonderful subscribers. And know that I'll see you next week. And I continue to stand in that circle of light for you, my friend.